Your eyes are glittering like stars. His damn cologne was making my eyes water. I was running out of sofa. As spirited as you are beautiful, I admire that. As long as he admired it from afar. On close inspection, I noticed that the swordfish was peppered with machine gun bullet holes. The general was a real sportsman, and no mistake. I didn't want to watch a lot of tawdry soap operas. I didn't want the lava lamp. I didn't want the picture. Is that a lava lamp? Sure, it's more impressive in the dark. I'll close the blinds. No, no, don't do that. Not on such a beautiful day. Who's the guy with the hat and the fat cigar? My mother. Big fish. Catch it yourself? Catch it? <laughs> Fishing poles are for children. Then how did... Are those bullet holes? Two magazines on full automatic. It put up quite a fight. I... um... Love your TV. Oh, yeah. Cool, no? Mom! What is going on here? Uh, nothing, Mom. I was... Uh, 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 I'm in uniform. And when I'm in uniform, it's... Madame la Presidente, sorry. Madame la Presidente. Now... What is going on here? Nothing, Madame la Presidenta. I was just showing my friend Nico some of the cool stuff I've got. Hi. Good afternoon, Senorita. And just what are your intentions toward my son? Intentions? We were just talking. How oh, nice. She has good bone structure, Raoul. Has she any brains? She's a reporter. Is she? And what sort of questions has she been asking? I'm a freelance photojournalist. I do lifestyle features. For what sort of magazines? It looked safest to play dumb with good bone structure. Um, Haya, uh, Lifestyle of the Super Rich and Vain Glorious, Envy Magazine. Um... Excellent! Raoul, you've chosen well for a change. It was Pretty obvious who pulled the strings around here. I hope George was making good use of the time I was buying him. And then it goes, fa 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 fa. And when you were in this band of yours, you used to play that song for two hours. Yeah, we were really famous at our college. Still, ours wasn't as good as the original version. I have never heard that song before, yet I have no doubt that this must be true. Hey! Psst. Hey, George! Dwayne Henderson! Boy, am I ever glad to see you. Get to the American Consul and tell him I've been imprisoned without charge. Get real, George. He was the previous occupant of that cell you're in. We're gonna have to use good old American know-how to get you out of there. Uh-oh. That? And this truck full of explosives I've got here? Dwayne, 
Dwayne, listen to me. You'll kill all of us. You're such a naysayer, George. It'll go like clockwork. Uh, negative to negative. Uh, uh, it's positive to pot. Uh, you gotta get the bare copper wire here. Let me just. Uh, oh, God. Oh, damn. All right. I'll just hook that up. All right, there we go. Okay. Just a minute. I've got to get to a safe distance. Quick, Miguel, hit the mattress. You have strange customs up north. Here we go. Too late. Are we dead yet? Horse shit. What happened to the explosives? There ain't no explosives. My dumbass supplier must have given me organic fertilizer instead of chemical. All I got here is 400 pounds of lightly fried horse apples. That's a lovely image, Dwayne. Never mind, I'll think of something. I couldn't reach the noose. I can't believe that punk jailed me for no reason at all. So? It happens. But I'm a U.S. citizen. See? That's true. They dare not execute you. Yeah? Well, that's something. They'll have to arrange an accident for you instead. Why is that noose hanging from the bars? Ronaldo strung it up for me to hang myself. Don't cry for me, Senor Stubbard. When I am dead, the goddess will take my soul to rest in paradise. Listen to me, Miguel. You give me that rope, and I'll get us out of here. Is there somewhere you can hide from the general? Of course. My friends have a boat ready to take me upriver. But how are you going to break out of here with just a short piece of rope? I'm not sure. But I'll think of something. If your plan doesn't work, will you let me hang myself in peace? I couldn't escape that way. I had nothing else to ask him. Hey, Dwayne, I want you to tie this rope to your truck and then drive forward. I had no idea whether this was really going to work. Uh, but I'd seen it in a black-and-white western. Of course, Hopalong was using a horse, and Dwayne had a four-ton truck, but, hey, the principle's sound. Anything you say, George! Please forgive my mother. She can be a little... difficult. Oh, my feet! Raoul! Propose, you idiot! Don't mind her. She just wants grandchildren. <laughs> Don't think I can't hear you, Raoul. I want the worthy successor, and you're not it! Propose now, or I'll do it for you! Look, Nico, we haven't known each other very long, but... What the hell was that? I didn't know what was going on, but Georges had to be involved in it somewhere.
I ain't gonna say a thing, cause that sweet sound of falling masonry says it all. Quick, senor. The river. Huh? Wait! What about Nico? George, what have you done? You only had to sneak a look at the chart, and it's turned into World War III. No time to explain. Come on. Don't move, terrorist scum. You talking to me, Junior? Yes, I'm talking to you, fat man. And my name's not Junior. A word to the wise, Junior. You carry on waving that pea shooter in my face, and the next person who sees it is gonna be your proctologist. Savvy? General, I am happy to report that I have apprehended the terrorists. You idiot, not them! The other American and the French woman! They're the ones! 